Welcome back. I'm glad you stuck with me. I know the last lesson was quite intense, but trust me, if you start getting the hang of that last lesson and the more you play with it, you'll absolutely get the hang of it. That really is kind of the fundamentals of Mardi because from there, you can just expand the complexity of those campaigns and do some amazing things. And, and that's really the baseline of it. And there's no real easy way of getting through it other than just working, trying, and testing it out. But since that was a complicated lesson, I thought I will reward you with a much simpler lesson right now. And we'll take a break from the campaign building and look at Mardik's focus items. Now, if we look at our marketing conversion funnel, so you saw you saw us do a lot of things around this, this interest and need section where we, we squeezed you to give up your email address and we then sent you an email, everything that the last lesson contained. But we know you, you were doing a lot of effort to bring people to your website in this discovery phase. And what happens a lot of time, you bring people in and your squeeze page doesn't hook them. Maybe they read your blog article and then they just bounce. And so they come in and then they just bounce out again and you didn't get them into this interest phase. So we'll make use of a Martic item called uh, a focus item uh, with an exit intent. And when your cursor, when the, when the user is leaving your browser session, leaving the, their cursor is leaving the browser, we're gonna pop up a box and say wait and try and capture their email address. And that basically puts them back into the same funnel that we've already created. So this is really just gonna link over to that. And we hopefully can catch a couple of your bouncing visitors to get them back into this funnel. Because of course, that's the whole point of all of this is to drive them through the funnel. So let's take a look at Mardik and see how we might do that. Bring that to the foreground. So in Mardik, you've, under the channels menu, you have a section here called focus items. Select focus items and we'll go ahead and choose a new focus item because we don't have any yet. And let's give it a name. I'm going to call this exit intent grab. Of course, you can call it anything you want. Try grab last minute bouncing visitors. And the website is just for Mardik to be able to generate a preview for you when you're working in the builder. So it's, it's not critical, but let's just go ahead and put in the website that, that you're working with, in my case, demo.leadtheory.io. And we'll go into the builder. So let me click builder. And you can see it brings in a preview of what my website looks like. On the right hand side, you have my different options. So I can collect data, display a notice or emphasize a link. For right now, let's just look at the collect data. Yes, I want to animate it. When do I want to engage? So these are the options I've got. Maybe after they've slightly scrolled down in my blog article or, or scroll to the bottom. But for this exercise, I'm going to say visitor intends to leave. That's my exit intent. He's about to bounce from my website. So I'm going to have him leave before he leaves. And how often? So I'm going to say every page. Now that will get very annoying very quickly. You might want to set that once per day, but for demonstration, I'm going to keep it at every page so that you can see it happening. And then this is a great little feature. I can stop engaging after a conversion. So after somebody actually leaves their contact information, i.e. they've converted, I will no longer nag them with that pop-up box. So that's pretty neat. So we will, yes, we will stop engaging after the conversion. And I'm just going to collect data. Not, you can also display notice or emphasize a link. Moving to this section, what style should be used? Could be a little bar across the top of the screen, a modal box, a notification, which is in the corner of a page, or a full page. I'm going to go ahead and choose full page. Colors, so primary colors, let's just uh, choose the color picker. And I will choose a I don't know, slightly blue color. This is not going to win any 
prizes for design. So we'll select that. As for the content, for the headline, we'll say, wait, don't go, get my free ebook. And as a tagline, yes, please send me the ebook. Maybe some reassurances. I promise no spam. Then we just have to specify the form that we want to insert. So let's go ahead and select the ebook subscriber form. It's the same form we used in our landing page. So we'll insert the subscriber form. So it looks like that. And we can now go ahead and close the builder. Notice this is unpublished. So let me just go ahead and apply that. And then make sure you publish this, otherwise you're not gonna see it and save it. So I'll apply that so it is published. So, now when we look at our exit intent focus items, we choose this, it shows me that this has had no impressions yet, nobody's seen that, and that makes sense. We have to still install this on our WordPress site. And Modic gives you this little snippet of code here that you have to insert into your, into your website, whether it's WordPress or Joomla or just an HTML5 site, doesn't really matter. You've got to just insert this bit of JavaScript. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that text and move over to my WordPress instance. Now your theme, if you're using WordPress, some of the themes have a global include place. This is the same location where you would include your, your Google Analytics code, uh, anything of that nature. Um, uh, this theme that I'm using does not actually have that. So I'm going to do something which is probably not the most recommended approach, but I'm just going to insert it manually into my theme. Um, so here's my theme header PHP code, and I'm going to insert it right after this body tag over here. So I'm going to insert that bit of JavaScript code that I inserted here. Um, again, check with your theme. There's probably a better place to actually include this. You can also install a plugin, which is a global include plugin, which is a much nicer way of doing it. Uh, if you just take that plugin and then you can add any global include JavaScript that you want. Nonetheless, I'm just going to go ahead and stick that in here and click update. Now let's go ahead and look at our website. So there's my website, I've got my visitor there. He's scrolling, he's looking at the at my site, looks kind of interesting, it's not really falling for my squeeze, and so he says, no, nope, I'm off to the next page. Look what happens. As his cursor leaves, it says, wait, don't go, get my free book. And he's like, hmm, okay, so maybe I will stay. So it's a great exit and tent pop-up here where you've got this chance of keeping them and hopefully they'll actually convert and provide their address. Um, there is a little X here where the visitor can close out if they want. So that's a great little way of showing you how to do an exit intent and bringing more people into that funnel. Again, this is where it's at. If they're gonna bounce, push them back down, keep pushing, every action should keep pushing them further down this funnel. So I hope that was beneficial to you and we'll see you in the next lesson where we start looking at this consideration phase where we nurture them uh, and get more aggressive with the nurturing as well in an effort to get them, of course, to the convert phase. So we'll see you in the next lesson.